Hello everyone, welcome to the AMC Tech video series. In previous video, I have discussed how to remove the XYZ stage from the goniometric system. In this video, I will show you how to install the rotational powder sample stage. This is the rotational powder sample stage. This is the comport between stage and the XRD machine. In the previous configuration, copper 0.1 filter has been attached to the optical system. For the powder sample, we have to add the nickel filter. It will greatly reduce the K beta alpha radiation but not K alpha. This is the configuration for powder diffraction. First we have X-ray tube, then the two in primary is a motorized slit, then sample stage, then two in secondary is again also motorized slit, then the filter system, finally the SSB 160 detector. Also it is necessary to put 2.5 solar slit. Now we can power up the XRD machine. Now we can connect the computer to the XRD machine. Now it is time for the configuration. For that, we can use previously saved configuration file. After selecting proper configuration file, we can send that configuration to the XRD machine. Once we send the configuration to the XRD machine, it will be restart.
Now the machine is ready for X-ray power up. Now we can initiate all the drivers. Once initiate, all the drivers will come to their reference point. Then we can bring down them to their zero points. This is the standard corundum sample which used for the calibration of XRD machine. This is the equipment which hold the powder sample holders. This equipment magnetically attached to the stage. Now we can obtain the calibration diffractorium. This is the obtained diffractogram for the standard corundum calibration sample. Now we can do a peak fitting and check whether the peaks are shifted or not. If the peaks shifted, then we have to do a detect calibration. But for the purpose of this video, we will do a detect calibration even if it's not the shifted. For the detector calibration, go to the detector tab, then the solution and offset, then you can find the measure button. Click on the measure button. This will scan the peaks of corundum sample and correct the offsets of the detector system. This process will take several minutes, so I will fast forward the video for you. calibration is finished. Now we can check the status of the calibration. It's excellent. Now we can apply the settings to the instrument. So we can click apply to the instrument.
Now the machine is ready for powder diffraction. If you enjoyed the video, give a thumb up. If you have any doubt, don't hesitate to put a comment below. Thank you.